Welcome to Ratatatouille. I have to recreate iconic foods from the Pokemon universe, but I have zero culinary experience whatsoever. And at the end, I'm going to be judged by the best chef I know. The first thing we're making is Dugtrio sandwiches. This is the easiest Pokemon recipe I could find. So if this ends up working, we're going to move to the hardest recipe we found. But first, ta-da. First things first. We need toast. Now I'm gonna have to not toast it super hard. It's <laughs> super hard. Hey, yo! Because we're gonna have to come back and add the eyes to it. Wait, isn't the bread supposed to look like a diglet? Someone stepped on diglet. <laughs> Aha! What? It's hot. Ta -da! Next, tomato. I've gotta slice this bad boy. We gotta go thin. I wanna get the green off the top. Boom, look at this juicy tomato. I'm not gonna squeeze it. Cut your finger. Oh, by the way, YouTube community guidelines. This is performed by a trained profe professional. I just know that that bread's gonna pop out and scare the bejesus out of me. Done. Okay, I have lettuce somewhere, the lettuce. Now this is already washed. If you don't wash your lettuce, what are you doing, you dirt eater? There's probably worms in there. What did you lick the bottom of a sock? Why did it go to that? We're only gonna need a few of these. Ah! <laughs> the other side's gonna pop out and it's gonna scare me even worse. <laughs> you thought you could scare me, Toaster? Now, the hard part about this sandwich is gonna be getting the eyes on it. Before we do anything else, we're gonna see if we can get the Diglett eyes on here. Now, I watched a professional do this and they put tin foil over it and they baked it. I think if I do that, something will explode. So I have a better idea. I saw a commercial with Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg with these lighters. This is gonna give us the eyes on our Diglett. <laughs> oh, 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 it worked! Come on, Martha and Snoop. I believe you didn't let me down. <laughs> oh God, this looks so bad. It's assembling time. I'm gonna put this here, stay. Now the last thing we need to do, cook some bacon. However, nobody likes cooking bacon. They sell it fully cooked already. If you're still cooking your bacon, what are you doing? Gordon Ramsay, shut up. I don't care that it has more fat in it. Your mom has more fat in it. What did you just say? You got anything to say to me? Say it to my face. Oh. So we're gonna microwave this bacon. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay reacts to Pokemon YouTuber. So we grab the bacon, bam, fold it, microwave. Now, do not microwave your bacon for more than 15 seconds. If you have it in there for more than 15 seconds, it'll catch on fire and it'll explode. Now is the time that I wanna tell you that you should subscribe to this channel. You should click the subscribe button and click like. <sighs> oh sh And just like that, the bacon is done. One of these sandwiches is gonna be a BLT. The other one's gonna be a vegetarian option. Now cut the bacon in half completely safely like this on your paper towel. And we're going to put that there. Next thing, a knife and we're putting mayonnaise. This could be substituted by literally nothing. If you don't like mayonnaise, you're a coward. If you say, Cliff, that's too much mayonnaise. Shut up, there's never too much mayonnaise. Make sure to get it spread all over the bread. Don't miss it, because if you have one bite without the mayonnaise, it's gonna suck. I don't make the rules. Now for cheese, I prefer provolone because it's smoky and it just works better with bread. However, there's gonna be someone in the comments from Wisconsin saying, you should have used this cheese. Shut, Shut up. up. Now, we're gonna put the cheese on the bottom and then on the not other one, I'm spreading the bacon. Then we're gonna take out the middle parts of the lettuce. Cause again, who eats this? This is very important. On the tomatoes is where you put your salt and pepper. This is where everybody messes up. Listen, the tomato will literally hold all the salt and pepper in the entire world. So that's where you put it. Another piece of lettuce, put that there. Oh, come on. Now we take our wonderful Diglett head bread. It looks good, I promise. Now the final step for the Doug Trio sandwich. We've got cherry tomatoes. We're gonna take one. Ooh, this is the biggest one. Wash it real quick. Chop this bad boy in half. And this is gonna be our nose. Ta-da! <laughs> this looks kind of good. And just like that, ba-ba-da! The Diglett sandwiches. It, I'm a, it's gonna fall. This actually doesn't look that bad. I totally thought 
That was, oh, I left the fire on. The most important part. I'm not going to cut the diglet in half. I'm, I'm going to cut the diglet in half. Ah! It's nose. No, no. Look at that beautiful cross ash. <laughs> I'm so sorry, diglet. Yeah, that's actually really good. <laughs> I'm going to go eat this. Now for dessert, we're gonna be making poffins. And that's gonna require an apron. Wait, this looks so cool. <laughs> now this is the hardest Pokemon recipe that we found on the internet. But other people used fake food coloring in order to make these. We're going all natural. I'm gonna be using beets. Oh, why thank you. I've never seen a beet before in my life. This looks so gross. It's literal dirt. Now, first thing we gotta do, I think I gotta wash this. Am I supposed to touch this thing? Ugh, I think that worked. There is so much dirt. Why do people eat beets? What was Dwight Truth saying? Like this man just ate these things? I don't think I'm supposed to have the tips on the end. So I'm just gonna cut them off. Okay, you know, that doesn't look too bad. What does it say? I gotta chop them in half. I hope I'm doing this right. And then boil them? Am I supposed to peel the skin off? It just says clean the beetroot in half. No, you don't shave a potato. Yes, you do. It'll be fine. Oh, my hands are red. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to turn the stove on. That worked. Well, that's there. We need to activate the yeast. I spent an entire hour Googling how to do this, and I still don't think I know how to do it. I bought these little packet thingies. I punched this one as a joke because the lady on YouTube said they were alive. So just in case we're not using that one. All right, buddy. Dump this in here. Oh, I've got to stir this. It's supposed to get bubbly. I don't own a whisk, so we're using a fork. Okay, I don't know how much I'm supposed to stir this, but now we let this sit in the, right here. And in 10 minutes, it's supposed to bubble? Ew, can I lick it? Am I gonna die if I lick the, next, I have to get a bowl. And in the bowl, I gotta put the flour, salt, and sugar. I need to measure three and a half cups of flour. Now, I think I'm, it said I had to be precise, but. Bruh. One cup, two. What if I scoop it in like, oh, that's so much smarter. Bam, and then I can eye a half cup. Good thing, baking is not like cooking. With baking, you don't need to be exact. With cooking, wait a minute. We need a half cup of cake flour. I. So does the floor. That's like, I think I did it. Two TSP, two tablespoons of salt. That's like a couple cranks, right? I need sugar. Where did I put the sugar? We need two thirds cup of sugar. Two this is the flour. How much, two pounds? I feel like I'm gonna be one of those. This is how much sugar is in your soda. Just, it's Diet Coke. It doesn't have any sugar. This one's the one third. So I just need two of these. Oh, oh, wait, my water's almost boiling. Bam. This is like harder than getting the last Pringle. Boom. You go right there. Beats, it's time for you to die. Oh, is it, I'm afraid it's gonna. That worked. How long? I don't know. It says until they're soft. We're just gonna guess it. Now I probably should have bought a whisk for this video, but I didn't think about that. So we're using a big fork. How do I know if it's mixed, if they're all powders? It's been 10 minutes. I think the beets should be done. Third, oh no. How long is this gonna take? My yeast has not bubbled. Oh, it wasn't warm water. I think I gotta dump it out and try again. Sorry, bud. This time I'm gonna make the water warmer. Dissolve pack in one fourth cup of warm liquid. Let's see if this works. Okay, there's definitely too much water, but this is what we're going with. The beets are now at a boil. I'm gonna lower that down a little bit. While we're waiting for the beets, we're gonna be making Pokeball Nilla wafers. If you don't know what a Nilla wafer is because you're Canadian or weird, they're these little wafers. I don't know what they're made out of, but they taste delicious. We're gonna be decorating these like Pokeballs. Hopefully they don't look terrible. I picked like the most destroyed box of Nilla wafers in the world. This one's too broken. I'll be a terrible chef. I think I start off with the black circles on each. Boom. This doesn't actually look that bad. Don't mess up, don't mess up. There's no way that this can go wrong. I'm too good at this. Are the beats boiling over behind me? Yeah. 
Remember the- Oh, okay. Oh, I thought they were exploding. Okay, back to this. Should have done the ones on the left side first. Oh, this one just looks a little messed up. Some of these are definitely better than the rest. Now, let's go in with the red. I think if I go around the outside. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Oh, this is gonna look really good. I may have spoke a little bit too soon on this one. This one's bad. Uh oh, don't, I'm not gonna show that one. <laughs> I should have made the holes in the middle bigger. Finally, add the white to the bottom. These look so good. <laughs> Stop laughing. All right. Okay, they haven't exploded yet. Wait, okay, these look really good, but you can't see them yet. I gotta put them in the freezer for 15 minutes. Oh, oh, the yeast is bubbling. It worked this time. I just had to make it hotter. These go in the freezer for 15 minutes. All right, our beets are turning a weird color. So I'm gonna guess that that means that they're done. Now we've got to destroy them. Somehow I need to get these things in this processor. Am I supposed to put the juice in or just the beets? Oh, is it supposed to be this color? I don't know if it's supposed to be this color. Uh-oh, well, I'm gonna put a little bit of the beet juice in, because I feel like, what does beet juice taste like? No, 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 no. Oh, and our yeast. I named the yeast Franklin, but Franklin is starting to show signs of life. I think this should work. I don't own a food processor, but I make smoothies. Let's find out. Okay, moment of truth. <gasps> it's working. Wait, what? And just like that. <laughs> it exploded. Listen, I'm just giving this outfit a little bit of character. Okay, now I need to, oh, don't explode. Don't explode, don't explode. Ta-da, beet puree. Why is it smoking? It's all beet ussy all over me. Let the beets cool before blending them. That explains it. I need two tablespoons of butter melted. However, I normally microwave stuff in this, so I don't have another one. So we're gonna do this the smart way. Come on, butter. Wait, it's it's actually melting. This is actually working. Come on, it's almost fully melted. I'm sure Rachel Ray has done this before in her own home kitchen. She has a $5 billion set. We spent $43 on this video. You're almost there, buddy. And just like that, the butter is melted. I also need two beaten eggs. Oh. Look at Franklin, bro. He's getting thick. So one of the eggs didn't want to come out, so it just broke in there. However, I think I can save it. My egg is just sitting in the carton, bro. <laughs> this is so wrong. How am I supposed to get the egg out of the... Oh, no. Oh, it was pre-cracked. That's why... Oh, there's that hole in the... Ew. That's what I did to your mom last night. <laughs> Now we need two eggs. Make sure not to get any of the shell in there. Now I'm supposed to add the butter, milk, and beet puree. How much milk do I need? Three tablespoons. I don't have a tablespoon thing. I think a big spoon counts as a tablespoon though. That's why they call it a tablespoon. One, two, three. Now we add our butter. And lastly, how much of this beet puree do I need? A fourth cup. Oh, I made way too much. This is all I needed. If you guys want some of this beet puree, make sure to subscribe and I'll pick someone in the comments to mail it to. <laughs> huh, that's not that bad. Now that's all in here. Now I just gotta mix it. What color is this gonna make? Is it just, oh, it's all turning red. The beets are actually overpowering the color of everything. Now it's time to add everything. I add the beets, egg, milk, and all that. Ooh, I've got, oh, I have a Pokemon stir. Oh, there's so much more that I'm getting off of this. This was the greatest purchase of my entire life. Okay, that's in there. Now, Franklin, goodbye, buddy. I don't know if I was supposed to put that much water in there. Now we get to mix it. Franklin, uh, I, I, oh, this is gonna be something. <sighs> That's why we put a little bit extra flour and salt in there. So that way, if they're, no! I wash my hands. If stuff like that happens, it's not the end of the world. This is actually really hard. Is it supposed to be this hard? I'm supposed to do this until it's smooth and not sticky. I think I'm gonna need more flour. This is where everything's gonna fall apart. I need a little bit more flour, a little bit of cake flour. And lastly, where did I put the sugar? Oh, here's the sugar. Sure. Oh! Good. I think this should be enough so it's not sticky. Is this why that White House chef is freaking jacked? Ugh, I am out of breath. I think this is good. This is what it looks like. And now I'm supposed to cover it for an hour and let it rise. Okay. Oh, 
that didn't go well at all. No, 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 don't cling to yourself. Cling to the bowl. No. Um, Ta-da. Now I'm gonna put this right here and we need to set a timer for an hour. Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour. One hour counting down. Thank you, Siri. How do you like that? With what? What you just said, because it's going to keep the heat. That's going to make it right. This? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so now it's covered. <laughs> Now, while we wait for Franklin to rise, we gotta do a few other things. First, I gotta turn this thing to, what does it say? 375. Start. There's nothing in there. It's good. We still have about 15 minutes left on this. So now it's time to make the stuffing. We need blueberries, blackberries, and sugar. I have all of that. One fourth cup of blueberry. Is my, am I just supposed to, how am I supposed to do this? How do you measure a fourth cup of, that's a fourth cup. Now blackberries, am I, am I, are these, hello? You know what, sure, we're going with that. Don't, am I supposed to wash these? How do I? They're washed. Now I need sugar, a half a cup. This needs a half a cup, that's a lot of sugar. That's fine. Listen, the table just needed a little sugar too, all right? I want a little, little bit more. This is, this is gonna taste great. Now this is supposed to go in a pan and cook down for five minutes. I've never put sugar in a pan before. This can't go bad. Now we gotta set the pan to the lowest heat possible. There we go. Somehow this is gonna work. I don't know if I was supposed to put liquid in the pan. So the sugar's not melting. Can I smash the berries? Wait, oh, I think that's actually working. <gasps> yes! Oh, this was the greatest idea I've ever had. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. I just want this to be like the sweetest sauce possible. Well, that's doing whatever that's doing. I have to add water and cornstarch. This needs one and a half tablespoons. I'm just gonna put, that looks good. Here's one and a half tablespoons of water. There we go, now I gotta mix this. This is almost done. Oh, this does not look good. Somehow, chain, just start looking good, please. All right, now this is boiling. We're gonna turn the heat off of this, mix it one last time. I've gotta mix this. Oh, cool until warm. Ooh, that was almost bad. I need more berries. Three fourths of a cup washed. Sure, that's the right amount. Blueberry time. Boom, time to wash them. I'm giving him a bath. Tell me this is not the greatest way to wash berry. Oh, it got all over my hand. Oh, wait, that's the alarm. Are you ready? Nope, mm-mm. It, Franklin, he's a grower, okay? Should I mash this? Is this a terrible idea? It's a terrible idea. This, it's gonna work. They're gonna be easier to consume. Die, berries. Oh God, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have done this. It is what it is. I need nutmeg, cinnamon. I've got nutmeg and cinnamon. Lemon juice and butter. Oh, this is probably, is this supposed to be melted butter? Unsalted. This is the wrong kind of butter. I knew I bought this for some, the right reason. We've got butter. Am I supposed to melt this? I feel like I'm supposed to, oh, it's the berries are warm. It's gonna melt itself, funk. I think this is cooled enough. So we're gonna put it, oh, oh, oh boy, in here. Is it working? I think it's, oh, all of it got stuck to the edge. Why is it, it's so stuck on there. Oh, that's probably the sugar. There we go. I think I let it cool too much. Ow, nope, I just burnt myself on the pan, ow. I did not let it cool too much. Bam, that pan is now ruined for the rest of time. Yes, oh, it's coming together. Now in this bowl, I mix that. The butter is melting. I need one eighth tablespoon of nutmeg. That looks good. And a fourth tablespoon. That looks good. I think that's a little bit more than I was supposed to. Oh, oh, lemon juice. I got this big ass lemon here. I don't have a lemon squeezer, but I don't see any seeds, so. Oh, half a teaspoon. That's good enough. Now we gotta mix it. And then this is our filling for the poffins. This looks, okay. I may have messed up a little bit on this, but it's going on the inside. So people won't see it. The recipe did not call for this, but I'm gonna add it back into the pan and we're gonna heat it a little bit more. That, I think that's what it needs. Oh no. It tastes delicious. Oh, that's so much thicker. Yeah, I think this is this is better. Now this has got to cool. Franklin has to rise a little bit longer. So I need something to do. 
<laughs> All right, it's officially time to pull Franklin out. I've got these two pans. This is where the magic's going to happen. Franklin rose a little bit. I thought it was going to be all the way to the top, but it wasn't. So we're just going to go ahead with this. It can't go bad, can it? Now, in order to make this not the most messy thing ever, I'm going to make a plate of flour that I can use to wash my hands with. So I just get my hands all floury. Oh boy, this is what I want. I got to make this into 16 different balls. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, this, oh no, oh no. Oh no. There's one. I think this is how it's supposed to look, right? It's just a, okay. The flower on my hand isn't really working. Number two. Is this what Spider-Man feels like on a daily basis? I think this one right here needs a little bit, a little bit more. Uh-oh, they're touching. Room for Jesus. Now that these are balls, I need to get a thing to fill them up. Now I bought this from the grocery store and I don't know how well it's gonna work. Oh, I have a good idea. That's what good pussy sounds like. You know what, I think that's good enough for now. So now I, I twist it like this and we're gonna fill these up. Oh, it's leaking through the top. What, it's, oh. That's right, there's actual fruit in this. We're just gonna re-release it back into this. This thing, uh-uh, a blueberry clogged it. Can I spoon it in? Oh, this might just be so much better, okay? Now I gotta close it in. This is, oh no, oh. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop moving. Coffin number one, done. I think I used too much filling. We gotta use a little bit less filling and then close it in on itself. Oh, this one does not look that bad. Ta-da! One final thing we need to do. We've gotta add sprinkles. It looks bad now, but trust me, this is what it looks like. And in only 20 minutes, ah! We will have delicious puffins. They're done. I've been too afraid to look with the light on, so I don't know how they're gonna turn out, but it smells really good in here. Oh, oh boy. All right, we've got Puffins from Pokemon. There's one last step though. Don't judge them yet. Now we take the Pokemon wafers that we had in the freezer and we're gonna put them on. Oh, they're not gonna stick. Oh God, okay, wait, maybe. You know what, I have a better idea. Which one's our best looking Puffin? Probably this one. Ow. We're gonna take our best looking puffin. We're gonna put it here and just there, there. All right, ta-da, puffins. I really hope that this tastes good. You know what, now we just gotta. The sprinkles taste good. We're gonna get a fork and try this. Puffin tasting time. It looks disgusting. It tastes very good. Grandma! Hey, how are you? I just got done baking some things and I have to have you rate them on a scale of one to 10. Okay, I'll do that. These are my Doug Trio sandwiches. They have little eyes on them. They're supposed to resemble a Pokemon. Oh goodness, Jack. They look like they're crying. Well, I, I was crying after I tried making them. Okay, these ones are pretty good though. These are my Pokeball Nilla wafers. Scale of one to 10, would you eat them? Well, they really look good. I think I would at least try them. Okay, I'll take that. So you'll give them a 10. I'll give you a uh, Nine plus. Okay, so a 10. Okay, if I could taste them, I might give you a 12, but I can't taste them over here. What would you give the sandwich? Well, it doesn't look the greatest, Jack. <laughs> a 10? A 10? Maybe a minus 10. <laughs> I need you to take your expectations for this last one and lower them. Here are my Pokemon Poffins. Wow, I thought the last ones were bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they, they tasted good. Well, they don't look very good. They kind of look slimy. I think you didn't bake them long enough. I think you better stick to making videos, Jack. That makes more sense to me. Or else you're on the wrong show. The worst cooks in America? <gasps> Grandma. That welcome to Ratatouille. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see me bake next. I look like a mess. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. Ah!